When we learned France, we talked about France being the pants of England. And right here, we're going to learn the Pyrenees Mountains, which is in the southern part of France. So we're going to say it's a pair of knees on the pants of France. So pair of knees, Pyrenees, which is on the pants of France. For the Matterhorn, it's the only mountain we learned this year, so you just need to look at the map and find the little triangle that's all by itself, and you can call the Matterhorn the Mountain Horn, so you remember. And then it's actually, you, if you want to say this to your class, it's actually between Switzerland and Italy. It's not over here by France. For the Alps, which are right here, to the north of Italy, and go through Switzerland, we're going to imagine that inside the boot is the Swiss Miss, who is the girl from the Coco, the Swiss Miss Coco. She looks like this. We're going to imagine her head sticking out of the boot because she's the Swiss Miss and she's from Switzerland, and we learn Switzerland later. But on top of her head is her scalp. So scalp rhymes with Alp. So you can imagine her scalp up here, and that's where the Alp Mountains are. For the Carpathian Mountains, it looks like, it curves around like this, like a backwards upside down C, which you could do that for C for Carpathian Mountains. Or this country, this lavender country is Romania. And if you could imagine it sort of looking like a car. So this is the body of the car. This is the front of the car, like where the bumper is and the headlights. And then the windshield would go up here like this. So you could say this is the car path mountains, and because they go around Romania, you're roaming around Romania on the car path in your car. For the Caucasus mountains, last year we learned the Caspian Sea, which we remembered because the top part is shaped like a C for Caspian, and the Caucasus mountains has two C's in it, and it's right next to the Caspian, so there's just a lot of C's, the C, C, and then C. For the Ural Mountains, we remember them because this marks the end of Europe, and Europe and Ural sound alike. Or you can remember it because Ural starts with the letter U, and it's in the same country as the Volga River, which starts with a V, and U and V are next to each other in the alphabet and here on the map.